While XXX Tentacion was alive, he was a force to be reckoned with, becoming one of my generation's largest artists. And by his side was Ski Mask the Slump God, who's known as being X's best friend and right hand man. However, what a lot of fans don't know is that X had actually gotten into a falling out with Ski Mask, and it's unknown if they ever truly made up before X died. My name is Rashad Vashir, and this is how XXX Tentacion abandoned Ski Mask the Slump God. Sort of. But before we talk about how Ski was abandoned, how close were these two, what did they accomplish, and how did they even meet? Ski Mask and X originally met in 2013, when they both found themselves in a juvenile detention center in Florida. X had multiple charges, armed robbery, possession of a firearm, possession of oxys, and armed burglary while resisting arrest. Ski Mask was just in there for getting caught with weed after being expelled from school. When they first met each other, they were both delinquents, literally. And they were doing whatever, robbing and selling substances. X in juvenile jail, we both was in juvenile jail spending time, then we just was like, yeah, we need an outlet to just stop getting in trouble. All we like to do is hit licks and like do hood rap with our friends. So, <laughs> but they realized they couldn't do that forever. <laughs> Long story all short. right <laughs> <laughs> long story short so it's just like all right we need to find something to do so he was like in there just beating on and the rest was history as best friends they began making waves in underground rap and then the mainstream putting florida on the map dropping countless soundcloud classics that would eventually become huge songs when the two went mainstream but of course as they grew x became the bigger out of the two much bigger, dropping music that would go gold and platinum and begin to reach wild levels of success. And although that probably created some tension between the two, it wasn't where the rift in their relationship began. It was the accusations of X's abuse against his girlfriend at the time that made things awkward between them. Following a series of controversies, including the news of X being dropped from Capitol Records, removed off of all official Spotify playlists and placed on house arrest. Ski Mask distanced himself from X and it became clear that the two were no longer on good terms. It was X's behavior, which Ski Mask didn't approve of, and like many others around X at the time, distanced himself from him. At the time, X said he wasn't making music because he was just going through a dark time. But after his falling out with Ski, he took to Instagram to say, Announcement. If you want me to make music, tell Ski Mask to be my friend again. Tell Ski Mask to be my friend again and I will make music. Tell him to be my friend again. So X was definitely in the wrong for using his fans to pressure Ski like this. At this point, X was just like a cult leader and his fans would do whatever he told them. Furthermore, X went on Instagram Live and explained that people in the industry, referring to Ski Mask, were taking advantage of him. If you're an artist and you're trying to work with anyone in the industry, understand that you cannot trust anyone. People that you trust, people that are your friends, people that are close to you, the people you do business with will always try and you over. Trust no one. Do not trust anyone. Today was a real f***ed up day for me because people I trusted with my home, people I trusted with my life had shown me today that they can't be trusted. The thing was, Ski wasn't just some fake rapper X had collabed with in the industry. They were like brothers. So rightfully, Ski was not pleased and shot back pretty maturely, explaining why he had to do what he did. I'll always love that alien looking name at Sex Sex. But I had to distance myself because it's like nobody would see me as an individual rapper if I don't. On top of that, that's crazy as hell. So Ski had other reasons for separating himself from X than X's behavior towards women that were more selfish. Because he thought no one would ever see him as his own individual rapper, knowing he would never really flourish as a sidekick because X was so mainstream. And he was right, because today, that's what a lot of people see him as. Ski had also left X's group members only multiple times and for good in 2017 for the same reason, because he didn't want to be seen as someone who's only successful because of X, like fans thought of most members of the group. Fans accused Ski of overreacting, so he shed some more details on the situation, saying, This is a person who has before threatened my family, told me I was supposed to be sacrificed on some crazy stuff. So no, I didn't just separate myself for no reason. So X had designated him for sacrifice, which if we're being honest is nothing out of the ordinary for rappers from Florida. And hip hop fans are actually known for this. After a rapper's best friend dies, fans will say, you sacrificed him. But this was probably the first time a rapper said it outright that they would be sacrificing their best friend. But to X's defense, he was a bit dramatic and probably didn't mean it literally. X went back to Instagram, this time live streaming to speak on the situation with Ski even more, explaining, I wanna be myself. And if that means I have to be ugly, to look like myself, then I'll be ugly. And honestly, I'd rather be ugly and attract the real people and attract the real people around me than be be what everyone wants me to look like and be around a bunch of fake ass 
only want to be around me for some clout. And that he was trying to keep away fake people, taking a shot at Ski. Because I'm honestly tired of being used. I get used all the time. If you, if you haven't even noticed, I don't even want to be on the internet as much because of how negative and draining it is. And finally, reflected on his falling out with Ski. You need friends to help ground you and keep your mind straight. Yes, um, I mean, for a while, it was it was only me and my best friend and was Ski. And I don't have that. And I don't really have anybody around me I consider to ground me, to be honest. Slump said he would be your friend. I doubt it. He's full of I doubt he said that. You can get over this little bump in the road. I hope so. I hope this is not permanent. But the way he's been feeling has not been feeling good. He even specifically addressed the situation as well, calling Ski Mask ungrateful. It was just, I guess, a, a lack of appreciation on his end. Not because of me, I guess just. And said it was business dealings that got in the way of their friendship. From a business perspective, but he put a business perspective before a personal relationship. And I've been with, uh, been with him as a friend and as a brother for a very long time, so. It's just on some like other shit, to be honest. It's not even on some like. X believed he was fully innocent. It's not even on anything I've, I've done wrong. I can't even. You can't even say I've done anything to him. And I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go on the internet and express express that if I didn't care about the relationship. But you already know how it goes. And that he was taken advantage of by Ski, completely dodging what Ski had brought up, like a politician or something. People use you to get where they want to go, and then part ways. And I've been used a lot. A bit earlier, Ski had taken to Instagram to address the beef and said he was only successful because of himself. Hey, listen. Ain't nobody write my lyrics for me, bro. Nobody write my lyrics. Nobody, nobody forces anybody to like the lyrics that I write. So nobody made me. I made my self. You did that. And may have even been referring to X's accusation that Ski tried to bring business into the relationship by saying, He's in that world. Y'all say what's up to my entertainment right? lawyer. He's one of the best out here. But after all that was said and done, X took to Instagram to say, At the slump god, I don't care what you said about me, you know who got your back. And fans thought finally the beef might be over. But just when fans thought it was over, the script was flipped and X turned on Ski. Regardless of X's behavior to others, he was always there for Ski, standing up for him whenever, even when Ski was in the wrong. After Ski Mask was jumped, X stood up for him and even got jumped himself. And there are countless instances of X acting in this manner for Ski. So when Ski distanced himself from X, X felt betrayed. In December of that year, Ski Mask reached out to X and told him he wanted to make music again. And to many fans' dismay, X wasn't having it. He took the Instagram publicly and went on a tirade. My response to the request for the song by Ski is no. I'm going to destroy all of these rappers. None of them are friends to me. They don't give a fuck about me. They just want my energy. Keeping my foot on the all of them. And if anyone has a problem with it, me. Looks like they want my life anyway. Hmm. So sad that I don't ever use my real power against them. I hold back so much, even with all the weight I have on my shoulders. These lames can keep up if they tried. I'm going to mentally slash musically destroy my enemies. And then, directed something even more directly towards Ski. I watched the people I love try to stab me in the back and use me as a platform for their own success. I will make you regret this decision. This is your final warning. Ah, uh, I'll be back kids, gonna disappear to make some music. I love and believe in you all. This response was super over the top and he was making the whole situation out like him and Ski were characters in an anime. So Ski Mask fired back and explained, he was just talking about making music. Man, I wasn't saying anything about friendship, man. I was talking about making a song, bro. <laughs> Not becoming friends again, in a silly manner. So once again, this came as a shock to fans, who thought the beef would be over soon. And it seemed that their friendship was just heading south, and they had grown apart. Wi-Fi's funeral, a member of members only, and someone who was close with both of them, took to Instagram to explain why they weren't best friends anymore, saying it was just life. We're not like 17, 18 years old, bruh. Everybody is a grown ass man, and is doing and living their own life and they had grown up so just because they don't hang out with each other like that or it, bro and they don't even with each other like that the way how they used to it's not on no beef it's just like everybody just got their own life to live that man is making millions of dollars bro but just when everyone thought that the relationship was over randomly on may 13th of 2018 xxx tentacion and ski mask reunited at a show in rolling loud hey Yo, with the do-rag on. Yo, bro. 
I love you, bro. I love you too, fam. I love you, bro. And to fans, it looked like things were good again. But behind the scenes, things were very different. In an interview later on, Ski reflected on the reunion at Rolling Loud, where backstage they had a brotherly argument. Talking about X, he said, He told me that my vision was blurred. I don't remember exactly the word he used, but he said basically that my vision was blurred, that my decision making wasn't what it used to be. So while on stage they apologized and made up, backstage they were still bumping heads. He went on and said, And I was basically like, I argued with him. But he was trying to tell me about myself and how I could do better for myself. And I wasn't trying to take it like that. I was taking it as, You're just trying to show me that you're better than me. I already know you're better than me. That's how I felt at the time. It wasn't jealousy. It was just me wanting to be my own man, seeing how much Jose was his own man. So X was trying to explain to Ski he only wanted the best for him, but Ski was insecure and couldn't take it at the time. Which wasn't his fault because at times X was insecure during their friendship as well. And later on, it turned out that X didn't believe him and Ski's interaction was genuine, or at least Ski's part, because, and I'm not joking, during a live stream where X was playing League of Legends, he revealed that during his and Ski's interaction at Rolling Loud, Ski's part was fake and wasn't genuine. That whole interaction was fake as f Yeah. Well, my part was real, but his was fake. But things were still heading in a good direction because they were on amicable terms and they definitely would have become friends again. Except, as we all know, in June, just a month after their reunion, XXXTentacion was shot and killed while trying to buy a motorcycle and their relationship was never truly patched. After X passed, Ski was distraught and said he realized a lot. In the same interview, he went into more detail about their last conversation in real life before X died, saying, It's gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna say that after Ja died, it woke me up to a lot of things. And one of those things was that I need to take my music more seriously and that I need to wake up. He really took X's words to heart and used it to better himself. I seen that my decision making was blurred, he said. I thought what I was doing at the time was cool and was working, but then after he died, I seen what he was saying. I was like, bruh. I was going down a bad path. My career was going down a path that if I didn't change soon, I was going to be in a certain way forever. I see that now. So Ski basically said he was in the wrong and admitted he wasn't thinking straight, shouldn't have acted the way he did and forgave X. But if we're being honest, he wasn't just as much of the wrong as X was. And even though they both had opportunities to patch the relationship up, unfortunately Ski is the one who has to live with it as he's the only one who's alive. So to set the record straight, I don't think they were beefing or on bad terms necessarily at the end, rather that they were both still in a rut in their relationship. I'm sure they would have reconciled. To me, on one hand, X's insecurities developed into a controlling, erratic, and often manipulative behavior, especially back then. So it isn't hard to imagine why Ski wanted his distance, and they did reconnect briefly for the last time on camera during their Rolling Loud performance, where they performed a couple songs. And when X passed, Ski Mask was devastated. So it's clear that despite what was going on between them, they still had love for each other. My name is Rishabh Shir, thanks for watching and have a nice day.